chapter 3 chemical equilibrium class life sciences part 4 equilibrium state at the end of this session students should be able to explain the equilibrium state At t equals zero, the beginning of the reversible reaction, the initial concentration of reactants is maximum. Then the rate of the forward reaction is maximum at t equals zero. Because as we have seen in the kinetic, the rate of the reaction depends on the concentration of reactants. When the concentration of reactants increases, the rate of the reaction increases. At equal zero, the concentration of reactants is maximum. Then the rate of the reaction, the forward reaction at the beginning is maximum. On the other hand, the initial concentration of products equals zero. At the beginning, there is no formation of product, then the initial rate of the backward reaction is null. In other words, there is no backward reaction at the beginning. This is the reversible reaction. At t equals zero, the concentration of reactants is maximum initial concentration, while concentration of product initial concentration equals zero. Therefore, the rate of the forward reaction, the initial rate is maximum while the initial rate of the backward reaction equals zero. Now, during the reaction, the concentration of reactants decreases with time, then the rate of the forward reaction decreases with time. While the concentration of products increases with time, then the rate of the backward reaction increases with time. Then we have decrease in the concentration of reactants and increase in the concentration of products. Therefore, the rate of the forward reaction decreases and the rate of the backward reaction increases. At t, at instant t, compared with t equals zero, the beginning, the concentration of reactants decreases while the concentration of product increases. There is formation of product in the forward reaction. Then the rate of the forward reaction decreases and the rate of the backward reaction increases. The decrease in the rate of the forward reaction and the increase of the rate of the backward reaction continue till a moment where the two rates become equal. That means the rate of the forward reaction equal to the rate of the backward reaction. This is the equilibrium state. At this moment, where the two rates become equal, the state is called equilibrium state. What are the characteristics of this state? At equilibrium, the equilibrium state is characterized by a constant composition of the reaction system. Why? Because the rate of formation of component, a component that means reactant or a product, in one direction is equal to the rate of disappearance of this component in the other direction. That means what? The number of moles disappeared of reactant in forward reaction equal to the number of more of reactants, of this reactant, the same reactant, formed in the backward direction. And the number of more of product formed in forward reaction equal to the number of more of product disappeared in the backward direction. For example, this is the reversal reaction. Reactants give product. For example, at equilibrium, the number of mole for reactant left equal to mole, 
and number of mole, for example, of the product formed equal 1.5 mole. The two reactions occur simultaneously at the same time with the same rate. That means if 0.1 mole of reactant disappears in the forward reaction, that means the number of mole of reactant should decrease minus 0.1 mole of uh, at this moment. Uh, the, for example, if the mixture is stoichiometric, uh, same stoichiometric coefficient, it is formed 0.1 mole of product. This is the forward, the variation in the forward reaction. At the same time, the same amount of product formed are disappeared in the backward direction. The product are transformed into reactant. The same amount, 0.1 mole formed, is disappeared, and the same amount disappears of the reactant is formed, and therefore the composition to minus 0.1 plus 0.1, the decrease and the increase cancel each other. The number of mole of product remains constant to mole. The same for product, uh, 0.1 cancel 0.1, and the number of mole of product formed remains 1.5 mole, and the composition at equilibrium remains constant. No increase or decrease in the quantity of reactant, the same pore product. Apparently, the reversible reaction has stopped when the composition, the uh, concentration or number of moles becomes constant. It seems that the reaction has stopped at equilibrium. But in fact, the two the actions occur at the same time and at the same rate. The two reactions uh, occur at the same time with the same rate so that the chemical equilibrium is called a dynamic equilibrium, not static equilibrium. It is dynamic equilibrium because the two reactions takes place with same rate at same time. This graph shows the variation of the rate of the forward reaction and backward reaction with time from the beginning till the equilibrium state. The red curve represents the rate of the forward reaction, while the green curve represents the rate of the backward reaction. At the beginning, the rate of the uh, forward reaction is maximum, while the rate of the backward reaction is null zero. The rate with time, the rate of backward, forward reaction decreases, the rate of backward reaction decreases. This variation, the decrease of the rate of the forward and the increase of the rate of the backward continue till a moment where the two rates becomes equal. At this moment, the equilibrium is established, where the two reactions occur at the same rate, then the composition becomes constant. Conclusion, at equilibrium state, the rate of forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction or backward reaction. We have constant composition of mixture, that means the quantity, number of moles or concentration of reactants remain constant, and the quantity, con concentration or number of moles of product remains constant, the same. The chemical equilibrium is a dynamic equilibrium since the two reactions occur at the same time and at the same rate. This is the end of Part 4